Well, if you're like me, you've probably heard about pine saw being used in an ultrasonic cleaner to clean small engine parts and carburetors and stuff. So I thought we'd give it a try. Uh, it's going to take three of these for my particular ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, in this video, we're going to be at about 45 Celsius and uh, we're going to go for 15 minutes and we'll just see what happens. We're going to be doing this to three carburetors off of a 1984 Polaris Indy 600. So link down here for a video on that sled. Uh, will it start and we get that running? So let's get busy and see if Pine Saw will actually work really good for cleaning carburetor. Now remember, if this is the first time you've used an ultrasonic cleaner and uh, you chose to not <laughs> read the instructions or anything on the front of it, uh, you want to wait till you have liquid inside of it, non-flammable, uh, before you even turn your uh, ultrasonic cleaner on. I'm going to go ahead and crank my heat all the way up. Carbs usually only take about 15 minutes at the most. I think we'll do 10 at first after this gets warmed up and uh, we'll see what they look like at 10 because with purple power, um, no offense to purple power, great cleaner for degreasing and stuff. Uh, you go much more over 10 and you start to uh, really darken the casing on the carburetor. So I'll go strip the carburetor down to all its little pieces and we'll get it ready to put in the ultrasonic cleaner. I think the results are pretty clear in the video and the pictures. Uh, that cleans pretty darn good. I did use a toothbrush, uh, one that I don't use anymore, and I did do a little bit of surface cleaning on the outside when I had pulled them out of the cleaner uh, after they're soaked for 15 minutes, um, just to kind of agitate the outside, and then I washed them off with hot water and blew them out and then reassembled them. That being said, I did notice that the uh, like the float tab and the seat for the needle and a couple little things did darken. I'm pretty sure a guy could take some 4 aught steel wool or something and clean those back up shiny if you got to have it that perfect. But all in all, I think it worked really good and it didn't seem to darken the uh, carburetor body. So I'm going to go with a, a yay thumbs up on that one for a good cleaner and it's affordable and uh, hit the like and subscribe button because we're going to be doing another video using CLR uh, calcium lime and rust remover and we're going to see how that works.